Hey guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. Today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this beautiful FJ Cruiser 2012 model. But seriously guys, my name is Crystal from Berwick Mitsubishi and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2012 Toyota FJ Cruiser. We'll be looking at the condition and the features. There's a lot going on with this car. So let's get started. So at the front here, you have got your Nava Extreme HID lights uh, fitted on the front there, of course. You've got that nice big mean looking front um, with the faux air inlet there that the FJ Cruisers do come with. Your huge, huge lights there as well. Uh, you can see just around there on the driver's side, you have got the TJM snorkel uh, on there as well. So lots going on here, it looks beautiful. Uh, no marks to report on the front end. And you can also see that we've got the opposite lock bull bar as well there. So as we come round now, we'll go round to the driver's side of the vehicle first off uh, and take a look at what we've got going on over here. So as you can see, we have got our beautiful all-terrain wheels here. Fantastic tread on them, they're as new. Um, and you can see that the wheels itself, we have got some method wheels on this one. No signs of wear whatsoever. So true testament to the, real, uh, to the original owner. I do apologize, there is one small graze that I've just seen, but that is only me being super picky, guys, and looking for it. Now, as we continue down the driver's side of the vehicle, uh, it is worth noting that there is a Bilstein suspension kit on this one as well, so that has been added to the vehicle aftermarket. Uh, looking over here, and you can see, again, amazing tread on this tire as well, and uh, nowhere whatsoever on this method wheel so very very impressive coming around now to the back of the vehicle and you can see you have got your dunlop spare full-size spare on this one of course uh, your toyota genuine parts there with the tow bar on the back uh, and of course just that look from the back you've got those beautiful tail lights which do protrude out the side of this vehicle just helping give it that really nice mean look guys We'll come around now to the passenger side. And if you look from this angle at the corner of the vehicle down the length of the car, you can see that the back windows are darker than the front windows. This is because there is privacy glass. So it helps to keep what you've got in the vehicle uh, away from prying eyes, I guess, outside and keep things a bit more private. Uh, but what it does not offer is UV protection. So what I would really recommend is talking to Kylie, our pre-delivery coordinator, about getting some tint on those windows. Um, now we take a look at our third wheel here, uh, again another method race wheel on this one, excellent condition, no signs whatsoever of mark or wear and again some fantastic tread there on those uh, wheels. Now coming down the side of the vehicle and you can see here that um, I've already mentioned we have got the, uh, the Bilstein suspension kit but if you look up and actually pan up to the roof of the, kit, the car you'll see that we've got the Rhino Rack platform and backbone uh, already fitted on this one. Uh, we've also got rock rails on it and a 120 litre sub tank, which has been fitted by ARB in this vehicle. So heaps and heaps going on, as I did mention. Um, now it is worth noticing with these beautiful all-terrains, they are Nitto Trail grappler tires. So tons and tons of tread. Uh, and wear that you're going to get out of those. And again, look at that wheel, just perfect. You would never believe the age of this vehicle if you didn't know it. Um, now I'm going to open the bonnet and what I want you to take particular notice of is our dual battery that we've got with Piranha DBE. Um, we've got a 180SX controller with that as well. So I'll pop the bonnet and we'll take a look at the engine bay. Okay guys, so we're now looking under the bonnet of our 2012 FJ Cruiser. And for such a beast, this really does have quite a nice clean engine bay. So you've got your six cylinder, four liter petrol engine there, of course, uh, which gives you a massive 200 kilowatts or 380 Newton meters of torque. So great for towing and great for having some off-road adventures. Of course, with those uh, amazing wheels that we've got going on there, both the tires and the wheels themselves. Uh, it's a 72 liter fuel tank. Uh, on the main tank and that put, gets you roughly 11.4 litres per 100 k's which will get you a massive 774 kilometres per tank. Okay guys so we're now sitting inside the FJ Cruiser 
such a fun car to be inside. You really do get that safety uh, invincibility, if I can say that, feeling on the road with these. So I'll have a talk through the features. Please do keep an eye on the condition of everything because this car is going to surprise you for a 2012. It definitely presents much younger and newer than that. So starting here, you have got your grab handle on the driver's side. Of course, your grab handle up here with a visor fitted there, which is really, really handy uh, given that it is such a long window. Uh, you've got your power window controls here, your lock for the doors, so just as simple as pushing a button, and your lock for the windows as well. I'll turn um, my steering wheel to the right and turn my left indicator. Uh, just to show you here, the sub fuel tank gauge is just there, um, so very easy to see and monitor that as well. And just over here, I have got my brightness control for my dash. And then over here, I have got my headlight adjustment, of course, going out on different roads. You may need to adjust that. Um, and then obviously, sorry, I've got my power mirror controls here as well. So my left or right side mirror, simple as selecting which mirror and then using the touchpad to adjust the mirror as need be. Uh, worth noting that we do have uh, two electronic keys with this vehicle and a spare service key as well um, so it's nice to know now the right stalk here i have got my headlight controls and as you guys saw my blinker indicators as well there uh, the steering wheel itself is in fantastic condition it is leather wrapped and it feels amazing it has very 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 slight signs of wear if any at all um, you have got your phone and voice control settings on the right and your audio media control settings on the left. The left stalk itself has your front and rear windscreen wipers and washers. And then just below that, you've got this little tilt handle. Pull that forward and you can adjust the height of the steering wheel to suit you best so that you can see your dash clearly. Um, now just up here, I'll just move this form out of the way. I have got more storage here, so if you are going somewhere unfamiliar or where you may not get reception um, for maps or internet of any sort for navigation, you can put your hard maps in there as well. Um, and then as we come across to the centre, you have got your compass and your uh, level there for ground level. Um, and then just below that, your little clock. And if we take a look at our main screen here, just agree to that, you can see you've got a nice clear navigation. You've got your SD card slot, your CD player, um, all very handy there, easy to use. And then if I pop the car into reverse and you just pan up to this mirror here, you can see that the original owner has had an aftermarket uh, reverse camera fitted and you have got those guiding lines. With such a big vehicle, little touches like this do make all the difference and it is so handy for parking in the streets. Um, it just makes life a lot easier really. As we go down, you can see you've got your climate control options down here. So obviously where you want the fan to go, your temperature and your fan speed as well, um, and your aircon button and your rear demister. Nice and easy to use, everything's so nice and big. Um, just down here, you've got your USB AUX plugs just hiding there. Um, another a 12 volt rather in there. You can turn off your parking sensors if they annoy you. You've got your fog lights there and you've also got your spotlights there as well. So it's very easy to turn them on or off as you desire. Um, and of course, if you are gonna get muddy or go up to the snow and put some chains on, you can just turn your traction control off and it will appear on your dash saying TRC off. You've got your four wheel drive options here, a cup holder, uh, your automatic gear stick, which if you just pay attention to the details here, guys, as I mentioned, the condition, this is presenting as new. Apart from a slight stain there in the fabric, this is all as new. You've got another cup holder, your handbrake here. Everything's just where it should be. It just feels so nice and natural to drive this vehicle. And then you've got your center storage compartment here as well. Um, now, worth noticing that I have got the electronic brake controller and the UHF radio here as well. Um, so, like I said, this car's really been kitted out by the original owner. It's honestly ready to roll out the door and go have some fun and have some adventures. Uh, it is in fantastic condition. Even the condition of the fabrics of the roof and the chairs, just everything presents amazingly. It does not present 
as a six-year-old vehicle at all and I think if this is the sort of thing you're after definitely make sure that you come in and check it out these do tend to go very quickly they are a popular car uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, actually hop out of the vehicle and show you the storage space in the boot because I think that surprises a lot of people as well um, so we'll take a look at what's going on back there okay guys so we're now standing at the boot of the FJ Cruiser uh, worth noticing that it does come with the rubber official mats there are uh, nice and easy to clean uh, means you don't feel too guilty when you get in the car and you're a bit muddy and dirty as well moving those out the way I really do want to show you the space that we have got inside this vehicle here so I'll grab them out uh, heaps of space there to pop your bags or whatnot you have also got three harness points at the back for any child seats uh, two 12 volts located here but the original owner has actually gone one step further and placed a Waco dual outlet as well there so you've got another two 12 volts in the back uh, which I dare say is why there would be a second battery um, and you've just got so much space in the back and if you have a look at the back door itself you've also got some cargo nets here so you can put smaller items actually on the door trim itself so very very handy and uh, as I said ready to have some adventures Okay guys, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this walk around video of our 2012 Toyota FJ Cruiser. As you can see, this beautiful ride really is ready to go out the door as is and have some great adventures. The only thing I'd change if anything is chuck some tint on the windows for UV protection and as I mentioned, Kylie in here can help you out with that. Uh, but otherwise, I really recommend that you give us a call on 9907 zero triple five organize a test drive you might be surprised to know given that it is a six-year-old car it qualifies for our premium mechanical protection plan so you can click the link in the description box and find out more about that thanks guys